Hey guys, it's Monica, and I know, oh, I know, you guys have probably seen a million and one reviews or looks with the Tati palette. I know that, but you know, everyone does it a little bit differently. Everyone has different styles. Everyone has different eyelids, and you know, I'm 65. My eyelids are really wrinkly, creepy, crepey, whatever you want to call it, but they're not smooth by any stretch. So for someone my age to use a palette that, you know, a younger woman has designed and and um, and she has beautiful eyelids, I always have to wonder, how's it going to look on me? And usually I hold off. I don't usually jump and buy the latest palette. I'm not a palac, a palette-aholic. <laughs> Is that the right word? I'm not. But I just couldn't resist buying this. I really couldn't. And it's not that I'm a super fan of Tati's. I'm not. I watch some of her videos. I don't watch all of her videos. But I was just attracted to the colors and the textures in this palette. Now, everybody is different, like I said. And everyone's going to have a different opinion. So when I ordered this at the same time, Sheila from Simply Sheila and Molly and Fab and Glam also ordered it. And we were just chatting. We hadn't got the palace yet. We said, wouldn't it be kind of nice to kind of like do sort of a collab, but not really a collab, sort of a staggered type of a collab with just our opinions in it. So we said we would do that and maybe we would create a look going forward, you know, different looks and all that, but sort of a first impression. And Sheila got hers first. And I'm not too sure. I think I got mine second. Mylene got hers third, but my schedule was really wacky. So Sheila, I, by the time you see this, you, you may have already seen Sheila's video. I will link her video below and you hopefully will probably have already seen Marlene's video. I'll put that link in below as well. Mine won't go public until Sunday night. So yeah. I got the Taddy palette now. So if you watch my Instagram, you saw that I already done. I've already played with it. I've already dappled into it. I was really afraid to touch it at first because I was like thinking, oh, you know, I don't want to look like a, a nut doing it and mess up and all that stuff. So I'm gonna insert this picture here in a little video clip so you can see the first look I did. I really loved that look. It came out very soft. It came out, in my opinion, just pretty, pretty, pretty. And the colors I used, I actually used the Poet Row all the way up, all of those colors. And then I used a little bit of the Aurora. Is that what it's called, this light one? And then the black. That's what I did on that first look. And I, I blended it. I thought the mattes blended beautifully. But holy cow, for me, for me, they were super, super pigmented. Now. I don't use an eye primer. The only thing I use on my eyelids, and I used it almost all the time, and I used it before I used this, is the All Over Cream Brulee from Wet n Wild. That's what. I, that's the only thing I put on my eyelids. I don't put makeup on my eyelids, no primer, nothing else. So that's all I had, and I created that look, as you can see here, and I tried to come up close so you could see what my eyes looked like. I thought it looked really nice. I did have some fallout from the um, sequin. The second row sequin, third row is metallic and then glitter. I did have a little bit of a fallout and I'm not too sure. I think it was from the sequin row, but also from the glitter. But every time I use any kind of a, a powder formula with glitter or a sequence or whatever, I do. I have a little bit of a fallout on my cheeks and stuff like that. So I had that and it wasn't really bad at all. Today, what I did is I used the brown, which is a it, I wish it was a little bit of a cooler brown, and I think I have a cool brown that I really like. I have different browns that I like, but I used this just fine in my crease line. And then I went over here, and I probably today put too much of the Poet on all over my eyes because I feel like my lids are too pink for me. I would not go out looking as pink as they do right now. So, and then I went up and I added some of the shimmer, some of the sequins and a little bit of the metallics and then I went in a little bit more a little on the black on the edge and I topped it off I also tried this one up here this um this glitter the, the black glitter I thought that was really pretty so you know really like this truth be told on a scale of one to ten it's probably a seven for me but because I'm going to say a seven it's because 
I didn't have super expectations that this was going to be something it wasn't. I looked at this and I said, wow, if I get this palette, if I spend the money for this palette, I'm going to have sequins, glimmers, shimmers, whatever, that in shades that I don't have. And that's what I, I looked at this palette to give me options for when I wanted to maybe have more of a glam look. I wanted to just do a little bit different and have it all be in one palette. But this is not a palette I could go to every day. I would need to have some different types of browns. I would need to really have some neutrals. I don't consider this a neutral palette, but it's probably just my own opinion. However, I like it a lot. So for me, it's a good solid seven, maybe an eight. For me, this the, the colors are very, very pigmented. And I like to build in layers. So I would rather build it up than to have it just be there. So I had a hard time with that. But what I found was that it blended super, super, super easy. So I loved how it blended. I think it's pigmented. If you're looking for a pigment palette, it's great. If you want to have all these different textures, if you don't have that in your collection, like me, I don't have a collection, then this, this would work really good. But if you have a collection and you have all these colors, you might go, eh, you know, and not and not really get it or think about getting it. But I like it. Everyone's raving about the mirror. The mirror is pretty cool. It really is. But oh, I shouldn't have looked. <laughs> but the mirror, to be truthful, I um I never apply. I would not use this mirror to apply. I have to, because I wear glasses, I have to have my large magnifying mirror when I apply my eyeshadow. So I, I do it that way. But I think it's really great if you want to touch up or you just wanted to use the mirror for something else. I think it's really great. So I really like the palette. A solid seven, maybe an eight for me. Um, there are other palettes that I would go to and grab that would be my favorite. One of them being my Viseette Liaison. I love this. And this also has some really pretty shimmers, shimmer shades. I really like this a lot. I think it's really pretty. I've got a number of other palettes that I like. So I think it's great. You can see the look I created. And you can see this look. This look is just too, too pinky for me. The other thing I did this week, now you probably, Happiness is Here, the Glam Collection from Lancome. You may have seen a number of content creators talk about this collection, and some of them were sent this complimentary via the Octoly Network or directly from Lancome, and I'm unbelievably jealous of them, but I did buy mine, and uh, what I ended up doing is I just thought the train case was like super, super cute. I really did. So I ended up, I went to Macy's. I bought the foundation. I had not tried the foundation. I wanted to see how I liked the foundation. I'd heard so many different people talk about how this is one of their top foundations. So the foundations that I have that are on the high end is I have the YSL. I love the YSL. I wear that on special occasions. It's really a pretty, pretty finish. I think I have it on now. I have my Estee Lauder. I buy that at the cosmetic company store and I can usually get a pretty reasonable price for that. And then I have drugstore. I have a lot of different drugstore brands, CYO. I, um, I, I've got the Kick Ass Foundation right now. There's some that I don't like. There's some that I do like. I never like the Wet n Wild. There's a number of foundations I just did not like that were at a drugstore, but there was a few I do like. And out of the three high ends that I have, the Lancome, I've only used it once so far, but the Lancome Foundation, really nice, on par for me with my Estee Lauder and with the YSL, as far as the YSL just has a really pretty finish. And my Estee Lauder is just my go-to favorite. It's a no-fail, you know, I can grab it anytime and I know it's gonna last, I know it's gonna look really good on me. Well, the Lancome, I was so curious. So I got this, I got color matched and this is what I bought so that I could actually qualify to spend another $68 for this. Hmm. hope Jay doesn't watch this video. So I got this. I got color matched. And my color is 310 
clear I think 310 really looks nice on me I don't have it on now but I really like it a lot so I got that and then I, I said to I think it was to Marlene and Sheila is this a sign of the fact that I might become a palette addict I actually I think this case is just beautiful this is the Lancome case and it's like um, little shimmery and it's just pretty a pretty pretty case the palette in there all my colors all my colors. I haven't tried them yet, but it looks like there's some cool colors. There are some warm colors, but then there's some roses, some purples, some pinkies, a couple of blushes. I'm really looking forward to trying this. I have not yet tried it. I also, in that, as you know, I'm not going to go through everything, but you got the mascara, you get the primer, you've got a whole bunch of different things, a brush, a bunch of lipsticks, but more importantly, Oops, you have their serums and their creams. I really was looking forward to this a lot. So that's what I got myself. So yeah, I spent the money on that. And um, I think this was a week where I just like indulged myself. The Lancome thing. I mean, that was expensive. And the Tati palette. But, you know, I think with the Lancome thing, I'm going to have, you know, between the foundation, the mascara, the primer, I've got a lot more products in there, including the palette that I think I can use. And I will certainly get my money out of that. So <laughs> I was like, okay, I like it a lot. I also, you know, when people send you PR in the mail, I'm always like so appreciative of all the PR I get. I think all the PR I get is just absolutely great. I love the PR. And some PR may not work out as well as others, but I am so appreciative whenever I have that opportunity. And I've had some great PR in the last couple of months that just is mind blowing to me. But one of the most recent PRs, and there's a number of things I wanna talk about, but one of the most recent PRs that I got was Jen Amber Beauty. And many of you know that I really like her derma rollers. I use her derma rollers. I think her derma rollers are great. So she sent me this PR pack that has the Aqua Stamp. I may have shown this before or talked about this. What you do on the Aqua Stamp, it's very sterile. You do have to clean it with medical grade alcohol. You put in this little container whatever serum you're using, a good serum, and then you would stamp it into your trouble areas. This is like really, I'm so looking forward to using it. So she also sent me some eye patches, which I have not used yet. I'm gonna actually take them out and dig in them to them tonight. And then two things of serum. One is a uh, vitamin C cream, which I really like. I tried it a little bit, it's really nice. And the other one is a retinol serum. I'm going to use the serum down my neck into my decolletage area. That's how I'm going to use this. So that was to me an awesome PR package from Jen Amber. And I thank you so much, Jen. If you don't know Jen, she's got a YouTube channel. She's all over Instagram. I'll link her information below. She's just a beautiful woman. And I really, really enjoy what she has sent me. It's beautiful. As you know, I probably will be going on a trip next week. So I'm going to have one more video that I'm filming, which is a little bit trip preparation. And then it's going to be a little bit vlog, vlog style. What kind of makeup am I bringing? What am I packing? Stuff like that. And that'll probably go live while I'm away. But it'll be also the beginning part of my trip. A little bit more of that. So... I'm looking forward to that. I'm adding this on to the tail end of that clip twofold. Number one, I, I just wanted to show you my eyes. So what I did is on my tatty, on my lids, because it was, I, like I said, it was just too pink for me. I just added on top of it a white eyeshadow uh, from my Viseat palette on top of the, the really rosy tatty look. I like it better. But the reason I really wanted to come back too, I wanted to show you this. I know, I know I've been talking about my trip. So when this arrived, and you know what, they always surprise me. I never know it's coming. And all of a sudden it's here and I'm like, oh my gosh, right? I do love my Balzano purses. I've gotten a lot of Balzano purses. I love them. I think that the name Balzano is really taking off. I, I believe, especially in Europe. So anyways, I'm going to show you what I got. This is so perfect for my trip. Look at this. Now, I've opened this up because I just thought this was amazing. This is a soft, soft tote. Uh, there's a handle. I haven't taken all the plastic off yet. There's a handle in here. I did add the shoulder strap so you can see it. 
to take a look at this. Oh my gosh, I love it. This is going to come with me on the plane. I swacked myself. It's gonna come with me on the plane. I love, love, love. I love how they, you know, they do this, how they hang this on and you can add keys to it. You can add anything else, whatever like label you want. Like I said, I added the shoulder strap. I love the two outside pockets. It's really cool. Now, I'm gonna take the plastic off on the inside. <laughs> but on the inside, of course, there's a bag and it's big enough for me I'm, this is what I'm going to carry on the plane. And what I really like about taking this on my trip with me and on the plane is that it's foldable. I can just put this in my suitcase or empty if I want. And um, if I need a bigger bag when I'm there or a smaller bag or something like that. I love how portable, packable this is. And you've got the side pockets that zip on both sides. It's really pretty. And then it came with this canvas type of a bag inside. And this is necklace. It's really pretty. If you don't know what Balzano is, I'm going to link all the information. But it is a subscription handbag service. And each of their bags, like in Mother's Day, I got the really coolest bag. Oh, I think I have it. I do. I don't have the bag, but I'll show you the accessory. Anyways, they have little accessories that they surprise you with in each, each month, depending on what you want to do from your subscription. You know, starts at like $39 on up. But I got these really cute little earrings. I got this business card holder, which I really like. And this would be perfect. A zippered pocket on one side and other little compartments. So this would be perfect to put in for my travel you know whether or not I'm going to put some cosmetics in here or whatever but it also has their little logo their little chain logo I absolutely love this I think this is the coolest I think having a handbag subscription service is just amazing and if you don't know the story about Balzano handbags I'm going to make sure I link that to you below but this this is a family story and it is a woman an entrepreneur who worked with her mother for the longest time and she was in marketing and, and creative and all that stuff. And, and, um, and I, I know I've told the story about her. She got, you know, she had a baby and her daughter, um, who helps design some of the jewelry, who does a lot of things today, was born when she was Down syndrome. And, um, of course, this is always a shock, you know, it, it, and, and all of that when it happens. But it's such a beautiful story of a mother's love, a daughter's talent, a family just pulling together. It's it's just to me, it's a lovely, lovely story. I love the handbags. This is going on my trip, so you're gonna see it in my upcoming vlog. Absolutely. I love it. And and I'm gonna show you because I use this all the time. In fact, one of you asked one time when you were watching, I must have maybe it was on an Instagram story, and I think I showed my handbag and you saw this in here, this little little flower. I think this was because each of their handbags come with like these accessories, so it's really cool. And sometimes they're bags, sometimes uh, one time I got like a fanny pack. I, I call them a fanny pack, I don't know what you still call them now. You strap it around your waist and it's got all the little compartments perfect for traveling for when you're riding your bike. Well, when I got this, I just thought this was perfect to put my lipsticks in. And I have all my lipsticks that I normally carry with me, my lip liner. You know, I've got, I've got my favorite lipsticks that I carry with me. And I go from drugstore Rimmel to YSL. I have them all in here. I have my, I, I ran out of my favorite Buxom gloss, but I have this one. I have, I'm pretty sure I have my hard candy gloss in here as well. I do. I have my hard candy gloss. And then I have my favorite mirror, which broke. And I have to um, get some glue. So, I love, oops, I love this mirror because I can go up close and personal and then I can go as a distance. This is just really perfect. It's got a magnifying on one side and a regular mirror on another. So this is normally, because I'm one of those people that, you know, I like to know, okay, in this bag is going to be my mirror, my lip liner, and my lipstick. And I grab it. Then I have another cosmetic bag with me that might have, and I have one of those little, you know, those little tiny sample bottles that you get. Um, I, I don't know, maybe at Macy's. I think I got mine at Macy's. And I have that with my Estee Lauder in it. So I can refill it. And I've got a couple of them. And they're the perfect little tiny thing for a weekend. If you didn't want to bring a full bottle of foundation. So I usually carry that. And this, 
was sent to me. Hum Hum Night Me Night Collagen Pump Pop. It actually arrived today. I have not used it at all yet, but I'm really looking forward to this. They say take two at night, Mighty Night, overnight cell renewal for skin and body. It's a dream come true. I'm starting this tonight. But anyways, this was sent to me complimentary via the Octoly Network from the company Hum. And I am looking very much forward to trying that tonight. I've talked about Realm. Realm has a roll-on. And I know in one of my videos, Jay talked about it, how he uses the Realm Recovery Stick. It's got 800 milligrams of CBD, 200 milligrams of CBG. They sent me a roll-on for Calm. They sent me Active. So they have three different categories of these roll-ons. This stuff is amazing. This is amazing. They also sent me a body butter. I've actually been using this. I, when, when my father was first hospitalized at the beginning of October, I fell in the hospital really bad. I hurt my ankle, I hurt my hip, I hurt my knee. Well, my knee has not recovered. So I have a lot of pain in that knee and yes, when I come back from my trip, I'm going to the doctors. But I've been putting this on. This this is the Realm Body Butter. I love this because it's it's travel friendly. This is coming with me in my trip. This is amazing. I put it on on my knee a little bit ago. My knee was really bothering me. My knee feels perfectly fine. I know it's not fine. I, I know it's not fixed. It, it, I know I need to go see a doctor. But my pain is gone. I love it. I, temporary or not, I love it. Absolutely love it. So anyways, I'm going to stop gabbing. I'm adding this on to the end of that other video. And I don't want it to be too long. But um, I just wanted to add that on. So, bye guys. Oh, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment and you thumbs up the video. And I'll see you in my next time. Next one. <laughs>